preview the U.S. Open. As I said, it gets underway tomorrow from Long Island in New York. Shinnecock, one of the toughest golf courses in all of uh, really the golf world right now. And I don't think anything's going to change with that this week. Let's bring in now officially Luke Norris. He's a golf writer for Fansided, fansided.com. Follow him on Twitter at the Luke Norris. Luke, how are things going tonight, man? Thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me, Brad. Glad to be here. Hey, you know, we're trying to figure out, trying to handicap this U.S. Open this weekend because we know the last time the Open was there back in 2004, it made things a little bit difficult even for some of the best golfers in all of the world of golf, Luke. Uh, So just some of your initial thoughts going into the tournament this weekend. What's some of the biggest storyline? Actually, what's the biggest storyline at this point in time? What should we be focusing on? I I think, I mean, as far as the golf course goes, um, yeah, I mean, it, it is gonna, it is gonna be different, and, you know, we'll hit on that in a minute, but, uh, we all know what the biggest storyline is going in here. Um, it's, it, it's, as long as he's in the field, it's always gonna be Tiger Woods. That's just, that's just the way it is. He's one of those guys that moves the needle, you know, he's Jordan, he's Jeter, he's LeBron, he's just one of those, one of those kinds of guys. Um, outside of him, um, cause I, I do want to wait on him for a second because I know some people do get a little tiger, sick of tiger sometimes. But I think there are, I think there are other storylines out there. I mean, you, you can take anybody in the top ten in the world right now and and call them part of the story because they are. Um, I mean, Dustin Johnson, for instance, just just reclaimed the world number one. Uh, you know, after losing it for a few weeks to Justin Thomas. So he's coming back. I mean, he just won by six in Memphis, shot 19 under for the week, pulled out on 18 for Eagle to to close things out. Um, and there's Justin Thomas. You know, how will he react to lose the number one? Uh, world number three, Justin Rose. That's Mr. Consistency. He won this tournament five years ago. Jordan Spieth has won this thing. John Rahm is the only player in the top five without a major. There's Rory. There's when will Ricky Fowler get that major? I mean, the guy's got eight top fives in majors. Uh Jason Day's there. Brooks Kepka is the defending champ. Uh, when will Hideki Matsuyama do his thing? It's there's so many different storylines that could play out this week. And Luke, I wanted to know what about Jason Day? How how does he, as he's preparing uh, for the PGA, how how, how is he going to fare out? Do you think he's going to fare out in this? You're you're breaking up on me there, Brad. Oh, uh, uh, Luke, uh, this is uh, Keith. Keith from uh, – I was trying to ask you about Jason Day. How do you think he's going to fare out on the green uh, coming up? About Jason Day? Yeah, Jason Day. Sorry, I'm, I'm having a real hard okay. – Jason Day, um, I, think, I, think his, I think his game works well here. I think he's really consistent. Um, and I think the big thing with him uh, and a lot of guys this week is going to be putting. Uh, Jason Day's putter has been red hot this year. Um, he, he's first on the PGA Tour in strokes d- game putting, which means he, which means he saves a lot of pars. And when you're talking about a U.S. Open, especially one with greens like this, then pars are going to be key. I mean, if you go back to 2004, the last time the U.S. Open was here, uh, there were only two guys under par for the week. There was Retief Goosen, who won the thing, and Phil Mickelson. Uh, so I think, I think Jason Day's length, his accuracy, he knows how to win a major. I think uh, I think I think his game sets up well here. Let's keep it with the putting here, Luke. Uh, are these greens the toughest that any of these guys are going to see in any major at all this year? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, uh, me and a couple of my golf buddies, we were watching a video this, just this morning. Uh, you know, I mean, there was a guy just dropped the ball, just dropped the ball in the green. You know, I mean, there was a little slope there, but not much. I and, saw this. This is absolutely like crazy. Did, did I mean, you see the video yeah, on golf? They, they drop it. They and, drop it on the green, very you know, very lightly, and it rolls all the way off. I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. Crazy. No, I mean the closest thing I can remember like that was um, it was like the first time that uh, that these guys played Pinehurst back in '99. Okay. Uh, you know, it was so surprising to see shots will go up, and then you got some of these false fronts where you think you've hit a good shot. And if you're, I mean, golf has always been a game of inches, and it's always going to be. But if if you're off by a couple inches here, I mean, you're talking, you're talking bringing doubles and triples into play. 